there's been a lot of YouTube controversy around a particular YouTuber who just happens to be the most popular YouTuber of all time. And in case you're wondering who that is, that's definitely Dark Side Phil. <laughs> 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 or not. Uh, more like it's PewDiePie. PewDiePie! Or whatever. PewDiePie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's PewDiePie. <laughs> or whatever it is. Uh, I actually had a good uh, voice for him, but I just completely lost it. But anyways, PewDiePie, he says some outrageous things sometimes. I think mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty well established. Mm -hmm. He got... In the middle of a live stream, I guess he got pissed off at the game or something like that. And he dropped a particular racist slur. Uh, well, maybe not racist. As in, I'm not saying he's racist necessarily, but it's something that a racist would often say. And uh, I think you guys might be well aware of what this story is about by now. So PewDiePie dropped the N-bomb in the middle of a live stream. And then of course he realized very quickly after that the mistake he made. And then he decided to just kind of the guy an asshole instead, which, you know, I mean at this point you've already dropped the racial slur. Now you're just associating with another bad word. But uh, anyways, what's your take on this the whole thing? Well, personally, um, I kind of find it to be kind of crazy that it has been sparking so much attention that it has, uh, um, you know, it, I mean, obviously, obviously it doesn't make it right. You know, I, racism of any kind is terrible. Uh, but I mean, the fact that it has been getting so much attention and has been getting hit home so hard like this, honestly, I think I think it's ridiculous. Like I said, it doesn't make it right at all. Um, but then again, for example, and I mean, I'm going out on a limb here maybe, but the fact is, is what about, say, some of these, these hip hop albums that we see or these rap albums that we see, or even pop music, for example, that ends up using this word and that completely just gets it gets overshadowed, nothing ever gets said about it. It's like, oh, it's pop culture, you know, it's out there. It's for the kids or something like that. You know, I don't know what the kids listen to nowadays. I listen yeah. to, to other music. I don't listen to pop. But the fact is, is if it gets out in there and, and it's out in mainstream media and all this stuff and hip hop music or pop music or rap music or whatever, and it's just treated like it's just any other everyday word, the fact that a popular YouTuber, you know, ended up going and saying this and and obviously he was he was in the wrong for doing it. But then again, with him getting so much into the game, he just kind of spewed it out. Yeah, it was wrong. But I just think that it's kind of crazy that it has just been completely blown out of proportion like it has, honestly. I mean, just, just the fact of, of it being over over one word that has, has been used in these other types of media and nothing has ever, no backlash or anything has ever came out of them like, like it has with him. Well, okay, one thing we do have to establish is he's such a huge presence on the internet. Yeah. I mean, this guy gets millions of views per video. That's mm. more than a lot of major TV channels can get on some of their programming. Yeah. So he has the eyes and ears of a lot of people. And there's also something to keep in mind. The audience that watches PewDiePie is largely a young demographic. I know mm. a lot of people will make fun about, oh, all your fans are 12 year olds and stuff like that. Well, I'm sure that's not the case. I've actually talked to people that are my age, even older, that are PewDiePie fans. But yes. A large majority of people that watch his channel are younger. And so I think a lot of the controversy and outrage over this is that these kinds of people are being exposed to this. Now, who's this, like you said, the hip hop albums mm -hmm. and whatnot? Some of these people are going to be listening to that stuff, right? So it's yeah. like, how much, it, it, if they themselves kind of spout the same stuff, how much influence did PewDiePie actually have into that? That's a really good point, indeed. Um, but one thing I find really funny 
is a lot of people have been deflecting this and saying that people like iDub say it too, you know, like iDub say this word all the time also, you know. Um, it's called context. I've seen the clips for iDub says this. He didn't say it like being all pissed off and stuff like that. It was like a comedic moment, you know, it was like a comedic delivery to it. You know what I mean? So yeah. there is a different context and any kind of word whatever it is context is very important in how it's used that's not to say that there is never or that there is always there's a right way to use this word but there's definitely a more wrong way than others <laughs> you know yeah so yeah, uh, yeah that's true so i mean i just find it really hilarious that people deflect like that like i think at this point yes you know, PewDiePie's first of all, he apologized for this, which mm. he's apologized for stuff before, but then he ends up getting into some other controversy. It seems like every time his view counts slide, start sliding a bit, some other controversy happens. He gets mm. that boost, it stays for a while, starts going back down a little bit, and so on. Mm. Now he got hit hard with advertising stuff, but that doesn't really matter because he's got so many viewers, and even though, like I said, a large portion of his audience is young, the ones that are old enough to afford to cough up some money, they do. You know, he makes thousands of dollars every time he makes a live stream. Mm. And that's just him playing a video game and bullshitting and whatnot. You know, it's like, what's the effort in that? Uh, I wish I could definitely do that and make millions and millions of dollars. That would be amazing. Yeah. I'd be so happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if he has a really good stream, he probably makes more money than, like, a minimum wage person does for the entire year working their ass off. Yeah, exactly. just off of one live stream, you know, which uh, just crazy. But mm -hmm. uh, but that being said, um, you know, at the same time, there's also the other thing. You heard about the whole false DMCA controversy surrounding this? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, so there is the developer of Firewatch, uh, Campo Santo, someone that represents the developer. They actually publicly stated on Twitter. That, you know, they, they obviously were very upset about what happened, too. And PewDiePie apparently covered their game. Got over 5.7 million views. So, they said that they were upset over what happened. And that they were going to take action on this. That they were going to file DMCA takedown notices. On the videos that PewDiePie covered for Firewatch. As well as any future games that they may develop. And they were also going to contact their friends in the industry, including some that are bigger than them, to encourage them to do similar actions. That's where I have a problem. Yeah. Because yeah. YouTube has already had such a huge problem with DMCA takedowns and things like that. Jim Sterling, for instance, was a victim of many false DMCA takedown notices from a company called Digital Homicide, which was a huge controversy. Jim fortunately came out on top, you know, because simply he criticized this developer to a point where I guess they just got so pissed off that they took it personally and started attacking him where it hurts, you know, the pocketbook. Started to attack his videos and things like that, which is just a really scumbag thing, but I guess he technically attacked their pocketbook by saying their game is shitty, which it was. Which is why people realized that Jim was right, because it wasn't like Jim was saying this about a game like Super Mario Galaxy, <laughs> you know, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but, you know, at, at this point, you know, it's just ridiculous that these developers are doing this, you know. So I actually told the developer Campo Santo, you know, that you officially hit my boycott list, you know, that I will never buy anything of yours. You know, never play anything of yours. I have a personal boycott list where I boycott certain companies. Campo Santo has joined that list, which is very small right now. Uh, I can't even think of everything that's on there right now, but the biggest one is probably Gearbox. Like, I'm not going to touch anything Gearbox does unless it's used or free from a Humble Bundle or free from PlayStation Plus or Xbox Gold. I'm not doing anything that will actually give them money anymore. Mm. And that's because of the way 
Gearbox has treated not one, but two franchises that I hold dearly. Duke Nukem and Aliens. And Duke Nukem was one of my favorite first-person shooter games. You guys screwed with him. But I kind of, like, was semi... Okay, you guys were only involved in the last year or so of development. Maybe I'll let that one slide a bit. Maybe you guys were just glad to see it be released. Right? That it came out at all. But then they did what they did with Aliens, Colonial Marines. And that was just unforgivable, being a big fan of the Aliens series. You know, that is unforgivable. The only way that I can potentially do anything related to Gearbox is if they completely get rid of Randy Pitchford. If they mm-hmm. fire him, if he sells off all his stock, if he has absolutely nothing to do with the company, then I can consider purchasing their products again. You know? Mm-hmm. But until that happens, I'm never going to buy a Gearbox game. Not even for somebody else. Like, you know... Like, if I have a friend or whatever that's a really big fan of Borderlands or something like that, I'm not going to buy that game for them. You know, if they want to play that game, they'll have to buy it with their money. If you know what I mean. Right. So, yeah. But Campo Santo has joined that very short list now because of their whole way that they're doing this. Because false DMCA takedowns is terrible. Hell, we even have Anita Sarkeesian agreeing with us on this issue. And we know how strict she is. Are. We know how crazy she is when it comes to video game uh, culture. Yeah, and even yeah. she's against this. She so play games. <laughs> <laughs> so and, uh, that just tells you if you've got people on virtually every side that's against this, then you're probably on the wrong side if you're for it. You know. Yeah, it's really crazy to know that Anita is the is it, of all people joining up with something like that, knowing knowing how she is. I just I figure she probably would have been on the bandwagon to to be a, against uh, PewDiePie. taking down PewDiePie's videos as well. Yeah, I right. Think, Which I think she, she cleared in her statement. She cleared in her statement that you know PewDiePie is wrong. You know, yeah, he's not worthy of support. But she said that that's not the answer. That's not how we should address it. And uh, that's a very good point, you know. Of course, I see people, like, from the Kekistani c- culture, you know, like, uh, they, they, they just couldn't stand. Like, it blew up their minds. So they have to reject that that happened. I was telling them, well, hey, even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> you know? So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So. You know, and it's kind of funny that you mentioned about the whole boycotting deal as well because when I had mentioned previously about me uh, enjoying Mass Effect Andromeda there <clears throat> I, I didn't know about news that came out after the game was released I was excited mm-hmm. again I went ahead and bought it full price played it and was enjoying it yep. but then I started to realize about some social justice warrior stuff that was happening in there and then I also found out that there was a guy on there who was racist who was on Twitter spewing out racist comments oh and yeah that. and I think he I don't know if he was fired oh yeah yeah, I know you're talking about man beer sing. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah, Bioware is on that list too. Not yeah, not I, EA as a whole, but Bioware specifically is on that list. Yeah, and, and when I when I found that out, I was like, shit. I was like, if I'd have known this beforehand, yeah. I said I wouldn't even I wouldn't even have bought Mass Effect Andromeda brand new. I would have bought it used so that Bioware could get none of my money and that racist bastard wouldn't have been able to see none of my money either because I was yeah. like, gosh, I was like, if it just came out previously. Then I, then I wouldn't even have bothered. I wouldn't right. have really used got it used. I got gotcha. you. So. Which, I mean, if you could have been patient, you could have got it used pretty cheap anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's definitely true. They're definitely true, because knowing, knowing how it, it was, uh, a lot of people were being disappointed. So Yeah, but I think that guy is no longer with the company, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to look, look that up just to be uh, sure. No, I don't, I don't believe he is. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he got fired or if he quit or whatever, if he went to some other company uh, or whatever the case may be. But yeah, I was like, shit. I was like, gosh, I wish I would have known that later. <laughs> or earlier, I mean. Right. Yeah, I think he left Bioware after that game, like, finished production or something like that. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. Like, his. Uh... Oh, it's Manveer Air, not Manveer Singh. I apologize for anybody that's named Manveer Singh. <laughs> Don't go after them. They didn't do anything wrong that I know of, at least. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, Manveer Air, that's right. And I'm blocked from viewing his tweets, so I can't see what he's up to, but... Uh, <laughs> which I'm sure it's... You know, like, with a lot of people that I'm blocked, it's because of previous association with Gamergate, which I have nothing to do with anymore because a lot of people that were pro-Gamergate were also toxic people, and I want nothing to do with them either. But just because I had any kind of association at all with them in the past, well, I'm just blocked anyways, you know. There's just a lot of toxic people on both sides. That's all there is, pretty much. To it. Yeah. Welcome to the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. He was apparently. Uh, he was apparently dismissed from Bioware. Um, just read an article yeah. about that. Yeah. So oh, that's yeah. good. So Bioware is no longer on the uh, boycott list for me. You know. Mm. Subscribe to the DP and me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now.